one for one, guys. Nailed it. I know. Yeah, you should, really you should trust us more job. with these big life decisions. <laughs> Except for yeah. we were both in, like wild, violent menaces during the whole thing. So I don't know if anyone wants to relive that again. Sure. I mean, fun from so the outside. There is there's <laughs> some other ways you could have answered that, but that, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Let's go home. Which time you say goodbye to monthly minimum balance or overdraft fees. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Plus access to over 60,000 fee free ATMs, more than the top three national banks combined. Hello. You can also say. <laughs> You can also send and receive money fee-free to your friends, whether they're Chime members or not. So you don't have to worry about paying back that one friend who decides that they want the points on a big group brunch charge. So why wait? Gift yourself financial freedom. Build your credit this holiday season. Just open a Chime checking account with $200 qualified direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash WT9. That's Chime.com slash WT9. From local artisans to global brands, Shopify is the heart behind millions of businesses making e-commerce dreams a daily reality. Join the ranks of successful brands like Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklyn, Wild and Till Nine. I mean, Wild Till Nine, Lord DIY, and be part of the ten percent of all e-commerce in the U.S. powered by Shopify. Sign up for a one dollar per month trial period at Shopify.com/wt9, all lowercase. Go to Shopify.com/wt9 now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash WT9. DraftKings Casino is bringing the holiday spirit right to your door with their amazing Holidays on the House promotion. We have a special gift for our Tillies. When you play with just $5, you get $100 instantly in casino credits. It's like finding a bonus present under the tree. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and sign up with promo code WT9 and play $5 to get $100 in casino credits. That's promo code WT9 only at DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Did you ever figure out that hobby? I oh did. My God. I oh did. My God. No. Thank you for asking no. the hard hitting questions. Yeah. No. I um, have oh really taken God. up uh, no. gardening. Gardening. Yes. Oh, no, you are. No. You I do love to garden. I know, right? I do love to garden. I still love TikTok, online shopping. <laughs> Just immediately, I'm ashamed. Um, cooking for Good him. Job. Cooking right. Driving for oh, him. As one does. No. Um, that is anything not to true. just please him, really. Wow. Um, the man of the house. Exactly. Yes. I wish that everyone could have seen what was rolling right before no. we got started because um, Cal had a, a, had, a, had an awry nose hair that was just going to the left or right. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It, it was, was a, it mustache, was a mustache, hair. mustache hair. Oh, that was a nose hair. No, no, no. no. Three rogue mustache hairs. You let her pluck a mustache? Well, now everyone's going to be staring at my... No, well, now it looks great. Gone, gone. Yeah, they're gone now. Oh, they were well, just yeah. like a little too long. Well, what's funny is I looked at my nose right before I walked into this room and I go... That could use a trim. Could use <laughs> Me a trim. too. I, and then he kept walking. I promptly ignored it and walked yeah. in. Yep, beautiful. Yeah. I said, we're shooting in 4K today. Not a worry. <laughs> so I, feel like, oh, no. I feel like we started the podcast by roasting Cal from last episode when you told Remy to get a hobby. But yeah. we want to say, I think that you have a glow <laughs> happening yes. about you now. And I feel Thank as you. if we should raise you up now. Cal's finding hobbies really brings we a glow. Raise him yeah. Oh my God. No. 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 Blah, 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 blah. Me up. <laughs> That's the song of Cal. <laughs> I need more. Um, so Remy and Cal are back and nothing has changed. No introduction except for they are again. Ah. Copycats, <laughs> copying us. You're just trying to do, do what we already did. That's, that's our, look at him, not me. Famously, you guys are the first to put rings on Dude, fingers. Yeah. You nailed it. Thank you. Wow. It was so good. Wow. So I know that you guys have already done a few podcast episodes where you've recapped the entire proposal. Obviously, mm -hmm. I also lived through it as a bystander. <laughs> and I was also thrown <laughs> through many fake outs <laughs> yeah. um, of proposal moments <laughs> that were maybe happening. I was there for a lot of the the nail. I feel like how many times did you get your nails done? Um, In preparation for I, possible proposals. Honestly, I have the worst memory ever, but probably what, like, like three, right? <laughs> I think. <laughs> Three? No, you know what I think it was? I think it was only two because I really got faked out for Japan. Japan. And then after it didn't happen in Japan, I, oh, I did it one more time after. So yeah, three. And three. then when I knew it was happening, which was the proposal. And then four. And then five. And then, and then seven. Four. And then yeah. now. But I think actually, I think three real ones. Every time like you guys went away for seven minutes, Lauren's like, 
Is he doing it? <gasps> is he doing it this? Is he doing it today? Is he doing it this weekend? Did you know? Also, no. I kept grilling oh, Jeremy, okay. and I was like, "Do you know?" I was like, "No, he's got a he's got a plan. <gasps> he's got a secret. Let him do his thing." I Did was he, honestly just so scared to tell anybody dude, because uh, uh, Remy would have asked everybody. Smart and knew that. Smart and knew that. The 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 like lie that you have to create and then keep going. Yeah, it's, it's like, like you have to live seven different people's lives. Why well, give people that burden too of constantly having to dig that hole? Yeah. Yeah. Just like more lies. No, I think you nailed it. I yeah. loved it. It was so fun <laughs> watching watching you have a meltdown. Well, actually, no, it is kind of stressful, but it is fun. It's fun after it's over yeah. and you've kept your mouth shut, then it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start at the beginning. So let's go back to ring shopping. So that mm -hmm. was in February, right, of yeah. this year. Yes. And um, I'm a big fan and advocate for couples going ring shopping together because I feel like you don't always know what you want. Did you yeah. end Couple up- Couple ring shopping representation. I really yes. am and I stand yes. for it. <laughs> did you, when you guys went shopping, did you change your mind in terms of like, did you leave knowing that you wanted something different than you when you went to mm. the appointment? Um, I think I went, I think I actually went exactly what I thought that I was going to do, but I will say trying them on. I thought, oh, maybe I'll do, do something different, but then I didn't. What was the, the almost different? Um, almost went for an emerald. Really? Oh yeah. I did look at that. Right. And then I just remember like looking at all of the bands, they all looked identical, mm -hmm. but they all were like a little different and it got a little bit overwhelming, I will say. Yeah. There's so many different kinds. <laughs> and honestly, I never even noticed it. Cal it's just crazy. Kind of, like he was just there and like, that looks nice, that yeah. looks nice. <laughs> but it was great. It was honestly a very easy experience. And then I ended up getting exactly what I thought that I was gonna get. So the same story. Literally, that's exactly what happened to me yeah. too. Mm -hmm. but, I but we went took one it. hell of a detour. Yes. We did. You were beside yourself after the first day Remember, because we had we, we went to Rodeo and had the world's worst oh, yeah, customer worst, service. Yeah, worst oh. day. Like I I as someone who's bought an engagement ring at Tiffany, holy shit! Not I, for me. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. I anyway, remember that. Yeah, we've we've been over that. But the point oh, is that I, I just remember the Tiffany. Like, yeah, but like I I must have really wanted to buy a Tiffany ring because the service that like we walked in and they're like was ass. Like, did you like know what you want to buy yet? Uh, but our journey was geez. the exact same. Like I thought I wanted just um a gold plain band with a fucking rock and that's what I ended up getting. And, but there was a moment where I was like, wait, do I want a Pave band with the little diamonds? Yeah. But then I, uh... So six hours of trying on rings. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> no, but she knew, ex like, then you know what you want at the end and that's what's important. Sometimes, and you're sure. Yeah, and that's exactly. I have to cross things off the list sometimes. Like, okay, don't want that. Yeah. Don't want, I, maybe that, that's not an option anymore. You don't know what you want until you know what you don't want. True. True. Where did you hide it, Cal? Uh, just in my room, in my uh, closet. <laughs> And you guys, I was gonna say, did you share a room? Like, no, no, you're my like office. Yeah. Oh, okay. Space. okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you guys yeah. aren't married yet. You're still sleeping. Yeah. Separate corridors, separate houses, yeah. actually. Totally. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You still have to trade the ox for the, the exchange for, exactly. the, for the wife. Exactly. Imagine. You, an ox? <laughs> She's getting like a couple chickens. I mean, like, <laughs> like, like senile sheep. <laughs> Where did you hide it? Uh, Under my nut sack the whole time. Yeah. Joe asked me this on a podcast. I was like, I don't think I actually know the answer to this. I believe. I hit it. Also in your office? No, no, no. I hit it in, oh shit. It was up high somewhere. I think it was in my office. <laughs> Anything over like five, but it was ten. Up high. I, I can't it was reach. Up high. I also will say though, you held yours for what? Like a, a few days, seven months, eight months, oh. right? Okay, this is my next question. Mine was like, is it gonna get here? Yes, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Right, so it was like you had a hot potato in the house for like six seconds, but yes. your hot potato had become cool potato. It had been it there for some cool it, it, yeah. it unbaked itself. It, yes. was, it was raw. It was ready it was for raw. presentation. <laughs> Salmonella was not forming. No, no. How Botulism. soon after, what's the timeline between the February ring shopping, you buying the ring and the proposal? Well, I will say I did kind of fuck up by like <laughs> almost, almost, pretty much explicitly telling Remy that I bought it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. I do remember hearing some yeah. like, some like second hand insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You don't and, have to uh, like ask her everything. Also, no, I know. I was like, wow, like of all the, the three billion women in the world, I asked the like or the worst like option, another yeah. guy who's bought yeah. an engagement ring at some point that I mean, you have I his phone know, number. I know. That's such a cow thing to aware. do though. I am aware. Yeah. I don't know why. In fact, like why. dudes actually, they understand insurance as well too. So you could ask, you could ask <laughs> men too. Honestly, you probably would have been a better question. That's a feminist. <gasps> That's a feminist True. movement. I love that. Three billion women. women in the world. Woo! 
Kat, Kat loves women. It sounds like he's trusting women <laughs> with big decisions. Yes, yes. As he should. As he should. Yeah. As he should. But, as that's he just should. like my reflex is like, I'm so indecisive. I just default to Remy making the decision for me. This is going to be a long and happy marriage. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's what beautiful. I wanted. It's all I ever wanted. It's, it's truly. Beautiful. It's true. <laughs> so then how long after the ring shopping appointment did you go back and buy it? Uh, I think it was like a month. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It was like around March or so. It's a long time. Yeah. Well, I was like really considering like getting it for the Japan trip. I mm -hmm. was like really considering it. Um, same, same. Yeah. Yeah. We all On behalf of you. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, yeah. So, no, same, same. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I wanted you to. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the, like, you just didn't want to like just decided against it. I, I wanted it to be something that I like fully planned. Mm -hmm. And That's I, right. I know one of Remy's like, one of Remy's notes was that she really wanted Jesse to be the photographer. Yeah. Uh, and I was yeah. like, well, I'm not really sure I can like just like fly him out for like <laughs> yeah. a day. It'd be but very difficult to get him out there yeah, for a day. It'd be tough. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and just make it as perfect as and as like close to what she wanted as possible. Mm -hmm. so like, you want to make it convenient for Jesse. Totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For Jesse's proposal. Yeah. Yeah. For, like, for Jesse's <laughs> sake, it's true. it made more sense to do it domestic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly, true. Jesse's afraid of planes, so Got it. you can't have him oh on planes. God. Totally. <laughs> Remy, one thing I want to ask you about, because I feel like this is controversial, is having non-negotiables. We're going to dive into this for like wedding non-negotiables because I have many. Okay. But what were your non-negotiables for the proposal? Because I feel like Cal used a really nice word of saying Remy had notes. Yes, mm -hmm. non-negotiables. That was that was that I was mean, like PR training to a T right there. <laughs> well, yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> the packaging I know, I, with I, a bow. I thought I was, <laughs> exactly so true. I didn't know I was right the salesperson. Oh no, no, I can, he said I can that. be diplomatic. I can yeah, be diplomatic. You know, yeah. so Two non-negotiables. First, I wanted Jesse to do the photos yep. because I don't love getting my photos taken. He never gets his photos taken, so mm -hmm. I knew like. In such a stressful moment, I would soften up immediately and I would just feel more comfortable. So that was my one, uh, which I would have loved. I would have been okay if not, but I, I would have loved. Second, non-negotiable. Had to be a non-negotiable. No restaurant proposal. Oh. Absolutely we no restaurant proposal. We literally just talked about how someone, um, there was an engagement next to me at Cheesecake Factory one time <gasps> at the Grove. No, at the Grove. that's so... Like, beautiful the way <laughs> the way that i was like five feet away from this table maybe even closer i mean those tables are fucking close it was yeah. the table next to me and i was like this man is on one knee proposing a cheese factory next to his brown bread oh yeah i was gonna say what what course <laughs> bread course appetizer it's always a bread course it's always a bread course. Yeah. Oh, it was during the bread course so they could like celebrate after i mean it stays bread course I feel like a celebration oh, oh you're right yeah. like 40 different kinds of cheesecake you know? I leave That's with celebration. three loaves of bread and like six sticks of butter every time I go to Cheesecake Factory. I have to say something. I have to get something off my chest. Go ahead. I think brown bread is really bad. <gasps> Me too. Uh, oh my God. Stop it right Remy, now. I get I, so much. I get bullied for not liking the brown bread. It's so bad. We'll it's wait. so bad. Yeah. We'll wait. I don't want that my bread to be sweet and I don't know. Brown. Put the oats on mm, it and brown. Sweet yeah. and buttery. Gross. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have totally. waited years yeah. for us to finally find something we don't, like, don't agree on. Okay. Yeah, that's not very bang this energy of you guys. Is it? Yeah, if but this like, is going to be it, though, I'm okay with what's that. What's funny is when we get Cheesecake Factory, I immediately throw the bread away. Because I know if, I eat, the whole if I eat one little speck, oh. yeah. I'll eat the whole fucking the thing. Whole I thing. totally get it. Yeah. I totally yeah. get but it. But think it's about so this. Good. What a gorgeous couple to go to Cheesecake. What a gorgeous double date for it Cheesecake is, Factory. It is really good because it, it balances nicely. Yeah. It's like like drumsticks and flatties for wings yes. or like crust yes. or middle pieces for pizza. It works out really Real well. Quick, not fighting. Uh, crust, middle, pizza. What, what, what's your, what's crust, your flavor? Crust all the way. Crusty, okay. What is, what is that? Crust or middle? Slices that, uh, of pizza. Yeah. Are like, you a middle kind of guy? Like no crust? What does that mean? No, like you, you like think of like a square pizza? Yeah, yeah, think, yeah. Think oh. of square pizzas or think of a, yeah, yeah, I guess square. Oh, crust like, all yeah. the way. Where the grease yeah. pools. I was thinking yeah. of a circle cut into squares, but yeah, square cut into squares <laughs> also yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Circle yeah. cut into squares. That was a good circle idea too. Circle cut into squares. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the giant pizzas that are cut into squares. Like, yeah. 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 A chunky cheese pizza? Crust. No, actually that's the really uh, thin one, right? Don't, and and that even, that doesn't even count as pizza. And they piece them back together. That's what they do, yes. It's very Shane Dawson core of you. Yes, thank you, thank you. Crust or no crust? Crust. I'm crust. Okay, crust. But like, for sure. only because I can give it to Lauren after I'm done. I was like, you don't even need the crust. Oh, that was so sweet. But you do, babe. I do eat the crust. I do love a crust. I and when, I, do, when, like, when I eat a crust, for whatever reason, Lauren just goes, what the fuck? 
fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, if I watch him put a crust in his mouth, I'm like, and he's like, oh, I just, like, oh, I forgot, I wasn't thinking. I, I forgot. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like, it looked This is the only non-negotiable in our relationship is that I get the crust. I get the pickle, I get the crust. Are you olives? She thinks olive it's theory. Olive? Yeah, olives, yes or no. I would no. rather never yeah, eat we, again. We don't oh, both don't don't olive. Olive. No. I don't olive either, but there's the olive theory that in a couple, one has to love olives and then one hates olives. You're up. I also feel like, can we swap that for <laughs> yeah. pickles? I feel like that's a pickle You're theory up. too. I think that could, yeah, that could also go. I don't know. Yeah. Vinegar. No, no, nothing vinegar related. Oh, I'll. I'm so fun. glad that we're talking about your engagement and proposal, and somehow we are on the topic now of Jeremy's dislike for vinegar. It always goes back. It always, <laughs> it always goes back, back to the pickles. Back to <laughs> yeah, it always does. Um, okay, so where were we? So those are, I think, two very fair non-negotiables. So, uh, like, so no are, restaurant, and you wanted like a very specific photographer yeah. to feel comfortable. Feel comfortable. Yeah. Yes, yes. I feel yes. like everything, like you all monster. your non-negotiables, <laughs> are like about comfortability and feeling like natural. Yes. I will say, I totally agree. Like we have um, taken our like family Christmas photo. By family, I mean Jeremy and I and the two dogs Obviously. with Jesse because mm -hmm. Jesse is so great at making people feel comfortable who don't take photos that often. Absolutely. I.e. Jeremy. I hate pictures. I hate them. Yeah, same. Hate them. Your guys' photos were incredible. Jesse fucking crushed it. Cal, yeah, you Jesse did great. Was the best. Cal, I just want to make a PSA because maybe not everyone knows this. Cal laid out a napkin on the ground for Remy's Birkin yes, right before he proposed. Yes, I and did. And that is the love story of all love so stories. When did you? It's true. When, when when you were thinking about like the the, the workflow and like mm -hmm. the start, the middle, the end, right? Yeah. When did it dawn on you you needed to bring Birkin protection? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a confession. Actually, I brought the napkins in case either of us were crying. <gasps> Oh, but in the last minute, in the oh, heat of the purpose. moment, in my the heat guy of the said, moment. "No, yeah. wait, I feel snubbed." <laughs> <laughs> I thought this. I told the Hermes sales associate that you brought them for the Birkin. No, keep saying that. Keep he saying that. did. No. I even told As my a, last girl you brought it for the Birkin the other day. When no, you're already th think yeah. about it, when you're already prepared, I'm just you don't have to get ready. I'm a little. In this is a, this moment, is a hey, choose your own you adventure narrative. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's episode. I love it. Okay. Hey, I, I saw a problem. I came up with a quick no, solution. No, 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 it was great. You didn't need to do that. Husband, I would have thrown it anyway. It's husband material. It is true. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite fun facts about the engagement weekend is that Remy brought a sweater that said fiance on it. <laughs> I didn't yeah. tell him this. Did I tell you this? Wait, what? <laughs> I, don't think I, I just know she like had the sweaters and I've seen them. <laughs> I don't think multiple <laughs> But you brought I it with I you. I only told you and me on this. Wait. I think only you two, truly. Well, I almost wait, didn't what, tell you. What either. did you just say? Because all I heard was fiance sweater. No, so the, the fiance sweater that you, I'm sure, know and love of yes. the last couple months yeah. that Rome is worn it every day. It, it, it came with her pre engagement. The wait, weekend. Please, pre -engagement. Let me, please let me. Let me just explain. Wait, I'll it was the there I'll tell, I'll tell the, the whole story. time. I'll tell the story. I knew it was coming. So I oh obviously God. didn't know if you were going to propose, but I knew. Oh yeah, sure. Laura's being a TikTok. Exactly. I knew, I knew. I, I started a YouTube series. I what do started, you mean? Oh, I did a oh Get Ready God. With Me to Get Engaged video on my get channel. Get the fuck out of I here. Yeah. I thought I didn't watch it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> did you? What, what was your favorite part? Uh, well, the middle. Oh, so yeah, good, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so right, good. right where it like hits that the climax. That's what I was trying to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. The, fake, okay. the fake lashes. The, thank you. The Fibonacci okay. mean. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, I knew you were going to propose, but like, obviously, like, not for sure. So I packed my bag. <laughs> And I knew we were going to Santa Barbara. And so I was like, oh, it's going to be a little chilly. I should bring a sweatshirt. Right. And so I brought the this sweatshirt that's, um, it's a white sweatshirt that just Ain't says no in huge way. ass font, fiance across the chest. And it was Saturday <laughs> and you hadn't proposed yet. And you're like, let's go. I was like, I really want to go to the pier. You're like, cool, let's go. And I was like, oh, it's going to be chilly. I should grab a sweatshirt. So you're, sta you're standing next to me. And I went to grab my sweatshirt out of the suitcase <laughs> and I pull it out and it says fiance. And I was like, oh, and I, Closed it back up and I rolled it in there. What are you doing here? Exactly. Hey, no. Exactly. Way. Um, and I realized it was a little premature to wear that. So. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I was honestly kind of ashamed of myself, and I didn't wear it for like I didn't start wearing it till I think this month because I was really embarrassed by my actions. I feel I like was. no, you were just so proud that you actually did know that it was happening. You're brought, like, oh, oh yeah, I'm calling it I right like, now. I like this <laughs> picture in my mind though that I was gonna like wear it the next morning, like on the drive back home or like hanging out. Like I was just so embarrassed. You were so confident. <laughs> no, but you were so confident in the, in the heat, like of, of packing. You were like, oh, it's happening. I knew yeah. it was gonna happen. We had been faked out two times already. Yeah. We, could, we couldn't go through. We couldn't go we, through another yeah. one. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, another honestly, one. Honestly, no, mm -hmm. I couldn't either. So I'm glad yeah. you did, okay? <laughs> well, see, I knew, I could tell that wow. everyone was just getting like super fed up with me. <laughs> did you Not, actually, could you really feel that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We weren't I, fed up with you. No. 
We had all the patience. You could have. Was, was you Ollie taken, fed up with you? You know what? You could. You could. You no. could take another three years. <laughs> like, Ollie was fed up that he wasn't included. That's all Ollie cared yeah. about. Oh no! That's all Ollie cared about. Oops. Ollie was pretty happy that I um, told him oh, before my, though. Well, he I loved. I brought this up. You. I'm sorry. I keep talking over you. My You're God. fine. I'm so You're sorry. Fine. I just You're have fine. so much to say. They're adorable. I did feel bad it didn't include everyone, but to be fair, you are friends with like half the state of California. It's literally so, so true. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have to apologize for your choices mm -hmm. when you were putting your engagement together. Thank you so much. That means But I appreciate the apology. <laughs> you are yeah. forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it's true. The more people that know, yes. the higher the risk is that yeah. someone gives something away. Yeah. yeah. And that's fucking scary. It's true. It is true. Um, did you practice your vows beforehand to vows. anyone? Or to, not your vows, your um, <laughs> your proposal speech, your will you marry me speech? Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I choked. <laughs> what? So, okay, Straight did, up choked. But did you put together like a beginning, middle, end? Or what I, was the yeah, thought? Yeah, in my head, yes. Okay. Yeah. I was like, right. I got, I got the bullet points. I'm good to go. And then I was up there. Yeah, I was like, this shit, shit I got happening. This. Yeah. <laughs> I was so ready. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who's the fucking man? The I'm the fucking guys. man. Like, the yeah. Yeah. Guys. Takes two, 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 one step. Oh, no. Will you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Put on the sunglasses and I. Pops <laughs> collar. <laughs> one pops collar. Yeah. Yeah. Ready, Cruz? Will you marry me? <laughs> Fireworks off in the background. <laughs> he just recently went to his best friend's wedding on Saturday oh, and yeah. had to give a best man speech. Oh. And he called me on Friday morning and I was like, did you write it out yet? And he was like, no, I think I'm just going to wing it. And I was like, oh God, do we remember what happened the last yeah. time that we just winged it, my love? Yeah. And? And how did it go? Well, I, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Okay. Here's the thing. Um, so I was preparing like that I would make the best man speech alone, mm -hmm. but, uh, what happened during like the time between I became best man and the wedding, uh, the groom basically made another person the best man as Two well, like co whore. best man, <laughs> co best men, and best men. Unfortunately, the groom is not a great planner, and I think mm. no one really knew, and I didn't really like know if it was confirmed when we were there or anything. But like, basically. The co-best man came up to me during the reception. He was like, yo, I got an, a great idea for a best man speech. And he just like pulled up the Google like outline thing. And he was like, we're just going to read off it was mad the lips. outline on Google. And we're just going to like answer like the fill in the blank oh, thing. Which I blanks. thought was like a great idea. I was like, that's actually really funny. Like yeah, we yeah. go up and we're like, oh, like, here's what Google says is a great best man speech right, right and then here. Fill in the blanks. To yeah. Make it, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. And, um, <laughs> oh, and no. I... What's funny is that he he was a like the groom had no idea when anything was happening right and he was getting uh very sauce during the entire <laughs> reception oh, yep, and yep, yep. so were all of us and me and co best man were like okay wait maybe this might not happen like maybe we're in the clear and everything and and like <laughs> just gonna skip that part. <laughs> yeah, what? what? The, they're going to skip the speeches? Well, if there's well, no yeah. planner to be like, hey, there's best no man, planner. it's time. Oh, no, yeah. no planner, no planner. Yeah, yeah. no planner, no planner. I don't plan. even think there was an actual toast or anything. Okay. Like, they were just kind of, like, doing whatever they felt. Avant-garde. Like, yeah. 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 Okay. The, the mm. groom at one point was like, wait, we got to do those dances. Like, the first dance and then the, the oh handoff dance or whatever. He was like, we got to do that. <laughs> it was just a party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was simply a party. <laughs> we already got married. Yeah. 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 True, true, true. And, um... Uh, I was like very drunk and <laughs> he at one point just comes up to me. He's like, yo, best man speech, like eyes half open. He's like, you got to do it. And I was like, bro, I cannot. I can't do that right now. There's no way. It's like, what, 10 p.m.? Like everyone's oh, gone. That's like a 7 yeah. p.m. type of, right. type yeah. of situation. Yeah, yeah, not a 10 p.m. But it went off without a hitch. Like the co-best man, he stepped up because he was about to leave. Like, so he was like pretty sober. Mm -hmm. Um, and head out? I wasn't what he was gonna head out, yeah. He was like heading out because they have like cats and stuff, and <laughs> they didn't have a cat sitter, you know. And <laughs> I think that's what so that not what wedding? I thought where that sentence yeah. was going. <laughs> it, by the way, cats can be alone for like three days. That I is know, true. I know, you know, that I just wanted true. to yeah, go to yeah. bed, probably. Yeah, it's fine, <laughs> but he did great, like, he really like carried it, and I like. Basically took a lot of what my best man speech was going to be and like sprinkled it into the Oh, you remember this time? Yeah. Yeah. I did good. He said, Question. Hey, Remy, you are sorry. Um uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remembered parts. Okay. Yeah. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. <laughs> well, because she told me to write it down and then I did kind of write it down, I think. <laughs> I didn't watch the speech, I don't know. Can't attest. <laughs> she also left early. I did leave early. 
You, you didn't even stick around for a speech? No, I had. Well, I we have cats to I take care of. I didn't think it was going like, to happen. It happened I stayed like two hours eight, after and she it left. didn't happen. When did this wedding yeah. start? 3.30? Uh, four. Wow. <laughs> Truly. Started at four. I had to get home and let the dogs out. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, are you going to have an engagement party? I'm sure this is the most annoying fucking question. And everyone is like, so what now? I don't, th- I personally don't want one, but he wants one. What? More you than I say, do. You keep saying I want one. Well, you want one more I than chilling. I do, which is 0%. And you're like a 20%. Okay. So that's more. I mean, listen, don't let anyone pressure you into spending more money than you need slash want to Fuck around that, this Cal, whole thing. If you want to put your, your cute heels on I and just keep have a wall. Get I'm your chilling. hair did. <laughs> let's have a kiki, baby. Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh my God. Let's, let's fucking throw down. You hey. Know? Wow. That's exciting. Cal wants to throw a party. I know. Why aren't you excited? Why do I not want a party? Well, I don't really want it. (laughs) I feel, I don't know. I'm in such a weird state with wedding stuff. I know. It's so unlike me, right? It's so unlike you. I I don't know. Is everything okay? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Do you still like him? Do you love him? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Lauren barely likes me. Barely likes me. I love love you a lot, but I kind of like you. Okay. Okay. So you're just yeah. practicing mm. some restraint. You know it's gonna be a while before you want to get married anyway. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know what it is. I just don't really like care to. Truly, there's no rush. Like there, there genuinely is no rush. Like if you guys feel good about where you're yeah. at in your relationship, like don't let anyone. Like that's like the number one thing that I think has come through the most true within this whole process is that like it is your fucking journey. Yeah. No one can pressure you into do doing anything. And mm-hmm. the boys will have a party. For the engagement, and you guys can come through before you go that take care of your like cats. That feels like more of a bachelor party. <laughs> no, 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 thing. that's separate. That's separate. That's An engagement separate. party with just Cal and Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I love, yes. that. I love yeah. that idea. We can build PCs. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Yo, wow, it's no. lit. It's lit. Yo, we build PCs while drunk. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's going to go really well. That's going to go so I can't well. imagine that going poorly. No, yeah, it's going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be exciting. Remy, I feel like you are in the nature of throwing um, birthday bashes mm. of upwards of 200 people. Yes. Are you nervous for a wedding guest count? I, so I actually think this is why I'm kind of nervous mm. about like apprehensive. wedding. Yeah, about yeah. wedding, the wedding in general. I'm so excited to marry you. I love you so fucking much. Like I, I know that with my whole heart. I think honestly, I, I don't really care to have an engagement party just because I want to save the money for the actual wedding. Yep. Yeah. The actual wedding, what I'm nervous about is the birthday party that I threw this year, I spent the whole time mingling with everyone. Mm-hmm. And I, so I, we literally met with the wedding planner, our first wedding planner this morning. And that's what I brought up. I was like, I just threw a 200 person wet birthday party yeah. at the top of this year. The whole time I just spent like talking to people and I didn't really have that much fun. I don't want my wedding to be the same thing. And he was right. like, I totally understand that. We're going to do everything we can to like, have that not happen, but I think that's why I'm really apprehensive. I feel like that's one of the most common things that I hear from people, especially people who have giant families where everyone has to be invited. Mm-hmm. It seems like the magic number in what I've been collecting in my my data collection no bias is, here. is about a hundred people. Is oh. that like anything over a hundred is like you spend the whole night talking to people. And then yeah. there's also a whole list of people that you didn't say hi to that you didn't even mm-hmm. know were there. Yeah, And so you spend yeah. all this time planning this huge event and all these people and all your like favorite friends and family are there and mm-hmm. you're so caught up in like small talk that you're not even enjoying yourself. Does that for sure. yeah. number stress you out a little bit? Um, yeah, we sat down last night finally because we're like, we're going to meet with the wedding planner. We have to like think of a rough number. We're yeah. at mm-hmm. 216. <gasps> Holy. Yeah. And that was after cutting Fuck. quite a bit. So we're going to have to cut more for sure. I, I will say that we made that list knowing that like, okay, if we had no restrictions. No, we cut from we're... we cut from there and then it was 216. Yeah, but. How many of that fine. is family? Um, About two thirds. What? Two thirds? Yeah. I was huh? gonna say your list of like friends was like. I have a lot of really friends, but you have long. a lot of family. Yeah. Yeah. It was two a lot. thirds is family. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, that's like over the amount of people that are coming to our wedding in total. In, in I its know. Entirety. But I think it's because like his mom, well, like immediate family, family and, and then family friends. Like yeah. our parents both had lists right. of like people that they would like. So those would obviously get cut before like. I wish other my people. mom gave me a list. <laughs> <laughs> when I have to read you guys what my mom said, actually. Oh, it's actually Dude. really funny. <laughs> I like, love her to death. Hi, mom. Love you. God. She sent me a list <laughs> and it's, it was a note that she, a shared note <laughs> and she sent it to me and she did give me a lot of like, you don't need to do these people. But at the bottom she put, not sure grandma can attend. She always wants to go home early and I'm not going to have dad <laughs> leave to take her back. And I called her and I was like, grandma's coming and she's going to sit there. <laughs> she can sit there for one night. 
I was like, my Someone grandma, will take care of her cats. My one grandma will be coming. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah, my one grandma will be coming to my wedding. I'm sorry. Also, maybe, you know what? So our- the Kids are so ruthless to their parents. Well, <laughs> if she's just gonna leave early, we're just not even gonna bring her. <laughs> like, that's like a, that's like a yeah. thing you would say about your mom. I was just like, but like, I get a Thanksgiving dinner. I get like even a Christmas, but my the one wedding I'm gonna have in my life, like yeah. she's gonna mm -hmm. have to come and yes. she's gonna kick her feet up and watch her Korean dramas on her iPad like she always does. Okay, mm -hmm. our wedding planner wedding? has a package Love it. where um, we've got dog sitters. So yes. essentially they take care of the dogs and navigate around like the ceremony and the cocktail hour. And then the dog sitters, which is obviously just like part of their like wedding planning team, take the dogs home. So, so maybe cute. there's a grandma sitting package where <gasps> There's a chauffeur for grandma if grandma wants to go home. I'm telling you. There you she, go. All she needs is her iPad and she's good. Truly. We're like, grandma, it's an unplugged ceremony. Except for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's fine. Honestly. I will but say I a dog sitting there. package is adorable. Yeah. I love that. We gotta get the dogs. You gotta get the dogs there. You gotta get the dogs. I know. I know. We're, we haven't decided what we they might they might come down the aisle with the rings, maybe. They have to. Oh, they are not gonna be trusted with the fucking rings. <laughs> you don't think on the back of their little harnesses? There's I I, I trust few things less. Than our dogs <laughs> with that. Yeah, no. no Just put a little tree like in front of it. Or like fine. in a box. Yeah, yeah. they could do we'll it. They have, could do we'll it. We'll have someone walk them down. They're not going to go by themselves. We, yeah. I love them terribly, but they're not very well behaved. Oh, it's going to be chaos. Your sons. I believe in them. Cute. I believe in them to mess this up. I think it'd be so cute. I think you should do it. I think, I think we should. Yeah. we're going to okay, do it. Okay, fine. Then we're we'll, do it. we'll get good insurance on those things. Then. Okay, great. Great, <laughs> yeah. great, 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 great. You can great, ask great, Cal about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Or the well, three, the three I mean, billion I'll women. I would ask a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I said Cal. Right. Oh, you would ask a woman. I would ask a woman. Yeah, yeah. Well, ask Cal who would ask a woman. Okay. As you should. Perfect. As you should. Damn, well, that makes more sense having such a big family. I mean, that's what's always so tough is like the family friends it's like the family politics of everything yeah. is so so tough well even like <laughs> like i have a really big uh family on like my dad's side and my mom was like you don't have to invite all of them can <laughs> like, I you're say like, it? here's the people can i say, you know, it? Can what? I say it? no Please. no let's talk about the holiday gift that keeps on giving Building your credit history with Chime's Secured Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. Imagine kicking off the new year with a smarter financial move. With Chime, you can safely build your credit by making everyday purchases and timely payments. And guess what? There's absolutely no annual fee or intimidating credit checks to get started. It's that easy. I remember when I was younger, I did not realize how important it is to have credit. It is such a crucial part of your adult life and of being on your own and no one tells you. So we are here to say, um, it's time to start thinking about it if you have not already. But even if they tell you, it's like if they don't give you an, a way to actually do something about no, it. No, literally, I yeah. wish that I had the Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card back then because it is a game changer when you are trying to build credit. No annual fees and no interest and accepted everywhere Visa is. You're literally building credit with your own money. But that's not all Chime offers. Chime checking account is like the superhero of banking. Imagine getting paid up to two days earlier with a qualifying direct deposit. Early payday? Yes, please. Chime also understands that overdrafts happen. But with Chime's SpotMe, you can overdraft up to $200 without fees. Set up that direct deposit, enroll in SpotMe, and Chime's got your back. With Chime, you say goodbye to monthly minimum balance or overdraft fees. Bye. Bye-bye. Bu <laughs> Plus access to over 60,000 fee-free ATMs, more than the top three national banks combined. Hello. You can also say... <laughs> You can also send and receive money fee-free to your friends, whether they're Chime members or not. So you don't have to worry about paying back that one friend who decides that they want the points on a big group brunch charge. So why wait? Gift yourself financial freedom. Build your credit this holiday season. Just open a Chime checking account with $200 qualified direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash WT9. That's Chime.com slash WT9. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank NA or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Access to direct deposits up to two days early depending on the timing of the submission of the payment file from the payer. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. The holiday hustle is real and the hunt for gifts has officially begun. If you're like me, you want your gifts to be as cool and thoughtful as you are. <laughs> I, I'm cool and thoughtful. Yeah. Hey, I'm so <laughs> cool and so thoughtful. No, that, you're right. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's where Caraway comes in. Trust me, their kitchenware is the adulting badge that we all need. Picture this, your foodie friend unwrapping a sleek Caraway food storage set, or imagine gifting your tea-loving bestie that chic Caraway whistling tea kettle. Caraway has something for everyone this holiday season. And don't forget about your friend who has already taken the Thanksgiving role of chef. Upgrade their culinary game with Caraway's stainless steel cookingware. Trust me, it's the kind of gift that even your hard to impress friends will rave about. Order by December 15th to make sure these stylish modern kitchen must haves find their way under your tree. Caraway isn't just another kitchen brand. It's about living that non-toxic life. We're talking no nasties like PFAS or PTFE in your cookware because what goes into our bodies matters. Join the 50,000 plus who are already loving their Caraway experience. Imagine eggs that slide right off the pan without a drop of butter or cooking spray. It is literally that good. It's magic. I think the easy cleanup with Caraway cooking is my favorite part. Long gone are the days of scrubbing a pan for what feels like a lifetime because I won't do it. <laughs> he won't do it. But this, but I can always make sure caraway is clean. We just have to only use the caraway stuff. Anyway, I will gladly offer to do the dishes as long as it's specifically a caraway pan. The cleanup is next level with these pans. I'm also obsessed with the colors they offer. You can actually have pans that look cute if they stay on top of the stove. We ordered the white set, but they have a ton of other cute colors to choose from. Visit carawayhome.com slash wild to take advantage of this limited time offer for up to 20% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners and will not last long. So visit carawayhome.com slash wild to get new kitchenware before the holidays. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. Quick question. What's the easiest choice you've ever made? Dating you. Great answer. <laughs> I'll give a couple more examples in case you change your mind. Like choosing a window seat over the middle on a flight or choosing a cozy night in an overcrowded party. But there's an easier one. Selling with Shopify. Shopify isn't just a platform. It's your business's growth partner. From the moment you decide to launch your online shop to opening your first brick and mortar store and all the way to celebrating that millionth order, Shopify is there at every milestone. Whether you're selling homemade candles or custom t-shirts, Shopify supports your passion. Their all-in-one e-commerce platform and point of sale system streamline everything. Managing inventory and customer checkouts with Shopify is as simple as making your morning coffee. Shopify turns casual browsers into loyal buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. We're talking 36% better on average compared to other platforms. That's some serious Shopify magic at work. And by magic, I mean great, great, great coding. I mean, the back end on Shopify is just fantastic, Lauren. Don't look at me like that. Okay, nerd. I know this is not part of the script, but <laughs> man, they've made the, the best product out there. Okay, operating and expanding business requires accessing crucial insights on the go. Shopify's dashboard enables you to handle orders, shipping, and payments from any location. This is a huge advantage for starting a business. Shopify effectively reduces the hassle of monitoring orders. Many of my friends and colleagues have used Shopify, and I can attest that the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. We use Shopify. I would never use anything. Literally anything else but Shopify. I, I feel like we're not, we're not even like giving it enough gusto no. of how like fangirl we are over Shopify. Shopify is so easy. Literally anyone can use it. From local artisans to global brands, Shopify is the heart behind millions of businesses making e-commerce dreams a daily reality. Join the ranks of successful brands like Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen. Wild and Till 9. I mean, Wild Till 9, Lord DIY, and be part of the 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. powered by Shopify. I'm shocked it's not more. I know, me too. Shocked. It should be. It should be. With Shopify's award-winning support, you're never just another store. You're a part of a community that's rooting for your success every step of the way. So why wait to turn your passion into profit? Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash WT9, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash WT9 now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash WT9. Wow, I can't wait to talk to Suze at Thanksgiving about being mother of the bride. Oh my God, I she's gonna live wait. for it. I and a newfound wait. grandmother as well. Oh, wow. She'll love to talk to you about all that. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> she made the transition just seamlessly. To grandmother? Yeah. Um, I would actually, yes, mom, absolutely. Nailed it. <laughs> yes, that was great. You wanna try that one more time? That was great. Yes. She made the transition just seamlessly? Absolutely. Or? Really? Breathtaking. That's amazing. <laughs> wait, so did she not consider herself a grandma when you got Daisy? Um. Uh she does call herself grandma, but it is a, it is a little different. I will say, and I'll let her have that one. I trust. I 
don't feel that way, but mm. she, I will. She feels that way. I can, yeah, put myself in her shoes. I get that. Okay, fine. We'll mm. allow it to. So yeah. We will allow Just it. <laughs> so timeline wise, what are you guys thinking? Because I think I, we chatted a little bit about this, but. And yeah, what's your next 10 years look like? Let's talk about no, it. No, when I just said, mm. when do you want to get married? So I when love the movie Bride Wars. <laughs> I love that. I was so <laughs> hoping that you were just gonna fully go with that. It's like my favorite movie <laughs> ever. And in the movie, they fight over having a June wedding. And so since I saw it when I was like, probably like 15, I've always wanted a June wedding. That's, that is the reason? <laughs> That's the reason. And you it's are aware that reason. it's going to be hot as fuck. I know. That's what I said. I yeah. know. So said that as well. I'm willing to give it up, but like, maybe not. <laughs> because she wants a June and all outdoors. Sick. But you Rough. also want to be by the water, though, so it would be a little cooler. bit cooler. So it'll be yeah, hot it'll be with a view. It'll be breezy. I'll give you a fan. It might be breezy. You oh. could do a parasol. When yeah. I when I show up in yeah. in khakis <laughs> and a, a floral shirt, <laughs> please do. So okay, so June. So you want everyone to sweat their balls off? Yep. Yeah. Yep. By yep. the way, thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah. You're so welcome. Um, Remy got a quote from one venue and Ooh. texted me and was like, I just need to get a little temperature check here on if this is a normal price. And I was like, you somehow picked one of the most expensive venues in all of Southern California. Uh, Montage Laguna Beach. Oh. <laughs> Up Montage. There. Which yeah. I will say they're all kind of like, I, I assumed it was all in the same range no, or so. But there's a couple that are outliers. Really? But no, I had to be like, like, uh. So that's not normal. Great yes. news. Yes. That is on the highest end of the spectrum that you could possibly find. Well, in <laughs> California. Not the highest, but yeah. Not the highest, but like that is a, that would give you like on the knot, that would give you four well, price that, dollars. Uh, uh, yes. That's okay. a minimum, I'm sure. Yeah, that's yeah. just right. starting. That's right. Right. Minimum. Yeah. When you say you have 250 people, that number is going to go. Yep. Much yeah. higher. Yep. Yeah. Much higher. Let's all take our Trisket out and our sparkling water. <laughs> and Here's your Kirkland Costco water bottle yeah. that we will be handing out. It was like a big gust fair. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cal, do you have a dream wedding that you've envisioned? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love that. Uh, besides with Remy, which is the dream. So mm -hmm. Remy yes. at the Remy at the at the uh, is it an altar? What's the thing at the front called? It's the, an altar. Yeah, an altar. Out the altar with you. And then other than that, do you have any preferences? <laughs> um, what are your non-negotiables? Yeah, what are your non-negotiables? My non-negotiables are. Um, I never even thought about them. You know what? I haven't even been asked that yet. So I haven't even thought about I it. I want to know Cal, we want to plan your want. dream wedding. No, let's, let's talk about what you don't want. It's easier to talk about what you don't want. Yeah, yeah. Uh... You know what, <laughs> Cal? Cal has had one non-negotiable that I can't say it on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he, we were at dinner and he Did, fucking- she, she proceeds to he, say. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No, but I Robin to, cut we're, this. We're at a nice dinner and he just like out of nowhere screams it. We were at the, um, we are at Mastro's in Vegas and like that one's like suspended in like an indoor mall. Yeah. So like you can like hear <laughs> and out of nowhere he just goes, you are not inviting beep to the wedding. And I, yeah. out of nowhere and oh, I was like- yeah. 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 That is, that, my is that is an absolutely yeah. fair oh. non negotiable. I stand with you. Yes, I told mm -hmm. everyone. Don't we, you worry. We, yeah, yeah. That was in the group chat immediately afterwards. Obviously, yes. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's not in the group chat. When's the last time we had a secret that they didn't share with everybody? Like, I. And, Good question. And like, I, you know, the dudes that like that think that they they have secrets with their 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 partner. Mm -hmm. like they're just they're living not, in complete exist. ignorance. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Like, there's not one thing that we've done that's embarrassing that not three other people know about. Ah, oh. oh, dude, don't I know it? The man, last time something crazy. like that she did that stupid that like I then went and shared with everybody couldn't mm -hmm. remember. But every stupid <laughs> thing I've done. Doesn't anything wrong. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I keep my mouth shut. I, when okay, I'm so asked. let's my talk cheeks, about your non-negotiable. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. For the wedding. Uh huh. Non-negotiables. Um. You want to be outdoors? Yeah, honestly, I'm very open to anything. I, I June, don't have like a outdoor June at the plaza. No, I haven't had um. <laughs> I haven't really thought about any like the one that I would have thought was June, and mm -hmm. I feel very open to changing that. So we really have we've done absolutely nothing to be honest. I mean, Same. there's so much yeah. time, truly. <laughs> I've heard you have done The much. way <laughs> that like, there's so many TikToks of girls planning their entire wedding and then like the TikTok is the wedding day and the groom is like, wow, this looks so beautiful. <laughs> and the, and the, the bride is like, yeah, I've been working on this for fucking 12 months. Yeah. I'm so glad you love it. They're gonna be like, that's your cue. You need to start walking. Oh, I'm walking. And you're, not, walking. you're walking, you're walking, you're walking. Should I have my tie on? 
<laughs> like I have been choosing the way that the napkins are folded on the the 19 different plates you have to have on the table, what mm, kind of God silverware Lord. you want, if you want a gold, different color handles. And you know what? Ooh. You've done a great job. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for you to see what our wedding is going to look like. I'm thrilled to find out with everybody else. It's going to be beautiful. Amazing. No, you, you're you going to see everything at the same time as he is. I'm going to be crying. Sick. This is so beautiful. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. Will Cal cry? Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think you're going to cry. I'm going to start a bet. I think I've said that you are. You thought I was going to cry for the proposal. Yeah, but I think you're gonna cry for the wedding. You lost that bet. I know, but I'm willing to take it again. Okay. I think you're gonna, I think just like a, like a little choke up. I don't think a sob, I think just like a little like tear, misty. You think you'll cry? Mm. I don't think you will. I don't know. The only thing that makes me cry is Men in Black 3. Oh. And I'm not Men in Black 3. <laughs> God. No, you're not. You're not even so close. So it's like, I just, it's I tough. just, there's some, some things that I can do. Yeah. <laughs> Jay knew all along. Yeah. I just, there's some things that I can was taking care of words and some things you can. That's one of those things. No, I think you will. I really just a little misty. We're also gonna do our first look before. Um, we Against went, my better will. I know, we went back and forth on this. The, I don't want this. The thing okay. is, is that when you Your pay, thing is. And one of my, ended up kind of being a non-negotiable is that like the planning and the flow of the event with the photographers and the videographers to like capture moments is that if you wanna do your first look, obviously like at the front, at the altar while it's happening, you have that, but you can't take any photos with family and friends until after, t until you've done your first look. So then your whole cocktail hour gets eaten up by taking oh, photos. Yes, okay. So oh, the man. benefit, like the pro of doing it before is that you get to have your, sir, I see your hand is raised and it's not time yet, but thank you so much. I acknowledge and I see you, but it is not time. So, yep, that's fine. Just, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we can have an hour and a half of doing first look, have a nice little private moment, mm -hmm. take photos with friends and family. And then we're gonna have, sir, if you could just, just <laughs> lower think, your hands. I think he wants to say something. <laughs> you could just lower your hands. <laughs> lower your hands. <laughs> I won't cry because we'll have already done our first look. Well, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Okay. Uh, I love that you're doing a first look. I think that's great, but now I'm gonna take my bet back then. No, you don't yeah. get to. You don't mm, get to take that bet back. I didn't bet anyone though. <laughs> I'm uh, still on the other side of the bet. Yeah, <laughs> I bet myself. We're gonna Maybe the second look will be just like There's a crazy. world where that happens. Maybe yeah. just like all the emotions in the oh, music. Oh, so there's a second draft? Well, look, depending on how expensive this thing is, DraftKings might be sponsoring the whole thing. Uh, so like we'll have live odds. You can bet during the whole let's thing. Go. Yeah. Wow, let's yeah. go. Let's yeah. go. I yeah. love that idea. Yeah. Listen, I am not against it's taking like any corporations A small display in the money. background, just like you could just see that. We're minus 100, okay? He will cry. <laughs> Jeremy's yeah. tears? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, logistically, and I also like the idea of having a private moment as well too. No, I, I love that. I think that's great. Um, not for my bad, but I love that Hate for you it. guys. But like, that's it. the thing is that like you, everyone says that it just goes by so fast. And yeah. so I want to have as much time as possible to like see friends and family and like be mm -hmm. there in the moment yeah. and not having to like be doing the photos, which yeah. I'm really looking forward to. We love our photographers so much. We're hiring the same guys that did our proposal, but I really want to be able to kind of get those, not like, I don't want to say out of the way, that makes it feel negative, but I want to be able to but check that off the, the list. But that's yeah. what it feels like to me. Like if we do it early, it feels like we're getting it out of the way. In a sense, like kind of though, wedding. don't you want to enjoy the cocktail hour though? It's a, it's a massive inconvenience. There's no mm. part about doing the first look when it's actually the first look yeah. that is logistically yeah. efficient. And that's why I still feel so strongly that like it would be better if that's the first look. Like it's not yeah. a convenience thing. Wait. The, the, like when I, she's walking down yeah, the like aisle. It's a wildly inconvenient. It does make like a ruin. Oh, oh, oh yeah, like, you think it's, you agree that it's inconvenient. It's it wildly, yeah. like, oh, great, 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 great. I still, but like to me, the first look is worth You want the, the raw moment. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's actually really cute. But I understand. I understand. And like, to, to be fair, everyone's in from out of town. It's only yeah. so many hours. We yeah. gotta get this thing on the road. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I yeah. get it. I, I, I see your but side. A production. Again, doing it before, makes it feel like the wedding is a performance versus like the first interaction. I see that, okay. But like, I, I trust the team that we have putting this together mm -hmm. to make it like still really special. I think that's cute. I've seen some people do it like at a, a wall where they don't like, they don't see each other, but they have like a photo, you know what I mean? Like they hold oh, hands. Oh yeah, they, and they first, do that. Oh yeah, Lauren Geraldo really did that, the first yes. touch. Yes, that was first touch? You. First, yeah, first, first touch. touch. Wait, do you, should I bring a dog and you bring a dog? <gasps> And we just make them touch toe beans around the corner. I was thinking we could touch. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yep. 
I was thinking we would be have the first. We one. touch beans. They've met before. <laughs> 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 right, right, right. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll workshop this. We'll workshop yeah. this. One so, came out of the other one, actually. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> kind of. In a, in a sense. Yeah. Hated that. Well, he drops off the kids. Hated that. Uh, what happens? Well, I should say, he drops off at the beginning. Anyway, let's go on. <laughs> oh my God. Um, when do we get to start dress shopping? Oh my God. Not for a while. Remy's, <laughs> Remy's never been so chill. I Can you know, believe what is going on? I don't know. Literally, I really don't know. You're like, hey, listen, we'll get to it. I, that's how I listen, feel. Love you, sugar. <laughs> yeah. love you, sugar. Can't, I mean, love you to death, but like, eh, we'll get to it. Like, you're she so chill. She's been through this like five right. times. I know. Like, yeah, I'll just get to the wedding whenever. I don't know <laughs> what it is. I think maybe. You're comfortable. You I feel, think so. You I feel mean, good. I think I feel like uh, while I loved the engagement, like the post engagement excitement, like mm -hmm. not that it wore off quickly in a bad way. It just like, we've been together for so long. We've lived together for so long. It just felt so natural. Like I feel like we're already married in a sense. So right. to me- aren't you, aren't you looking forward to like sleeping in the same bed and- Exchanging that uh, lifestyle. Maybe. Being able to hang out after Changing nine o'clock. One day, uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe, but it just feels very, it feels natural. I know I'm very chill. You're like, I'm like scared. Scared, I yeah. know. Like, what are you hiding? I'm scared of myself. I think he's scared too. Yeah, you are should you scared? No thoughts up here. You know? yeah, like no when did thoughts they, just when did they get so chill? Why are we like the high I feel like it's now? been like an ongoing friendship joke that you're gonna have the most insane wedding. You're gonna come down on you're gonna parachute in and then land on Sky like a white stallion. Yo, and then you're pulled actually, in by like a pumpkin, like a, a okay. like a, a carriage. A carriage. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I it's want a mission impossible wedding. I, We're like on a train. Like on top of a train. I oh. like that idea. I think also I was such a menace during the proposal. I think I kind of like, I exhausted myself. <laughs> you, you took two steps back and you I go, think, okay. I she had think, a self actualization I think I gained moment. a little humility out. I really think I actually might've did. Cause I was actually very ashamed of how I acted. I was. Remy, you I was a don't menace. feel bad about your excitement. Thank you. I know you're just excited. I was really excited. I know. Listen, and the next, the the next nice. three proposals won't be anything, but yeah. that first one's exciting. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I think also too, like I, I can't imagine how I would have felt if I knew that there was a ring in the house too. Cause then you're just kind of like, okay, well, when's Cal, it gonna happen? It. <laughs> like if there's a hot potato in the house, you're like, when are we having fries? I don't, I don't think I thought about the physical ring in the house. I just more so thought like, okay, he bought it, so it's gonna happen. Like it was more of just the idea of it happening was looming over me of like when and yeah. not being prepared. As someone who likes to be prepped, I needed like nails, hair, video. I was like, well, if I if it happens, I didn't film my get ready with me, then I can't <laughs> go back and do it again. Like I, that was more of a conscious thought for me than anything else. I will say there's very few times in like an adult male's life where we're in charge of- Everything. Like when you can move forward timeline wise. Yeah. It's like a big thing. Mm -hmm. Probably the first yeah. and last time really we have any control. Pretty uh, much. So yeah. that, I do understand why that feels foreign. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's it scary, felt like right? homecoming times 12. But by the way, by the way, one for one guys nailed it. I know. You should, really you should trust us more job. with these big life decisions. <laughs> Except yeah. for we were both in, like wild violent menaces during the whole thing. So I don't know if anyone wants to relive that again. Sure. I mean, Fun from so the outside. There was, there was some other ways you could have answered that, but that, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I, just I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just silent over here. So at least you got a, a, a word. Hey, ever since he asked you, hey, like, so let's talk about ring insurance real quick. Okay? He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep these thoughts to myself. Wait, do you know how he asked me? No. He, we were sitting in the living room together. And then all of a sudden he's just like, I'm, I gotta go do something. And I was like, okay, bye. He went upstairs. Cause that's what usually when you- When you leave, yeah. Yeah. excuse yourself, I gotta go, I do, go something. do something. I gotta go do something. something. <laughs> he's masturbating. I honestly anyway. thought he was going to the bathroom. <laughs> we were, you were probably in the bathroom. And maybe like 20 minutes later, I get hypothetically, a text, a text. <laughs> Hypothetically Wait, I speaking, I called you. No, text. Oh. I bet I could find it right now, actually, if I type in hypothetically no. into my, my message. Oh, he used God. the word hypothetically? Hypothetically. <laughs> hypothetically mm. speaking, if well, you- Well, he said hypothetically. If you were to buy a ring, would you get insurance on it? <laughs> Cal. I, okay. All I'm saying is she loves to deflect to the whole, I told her I bought it thing. Well, and so real quick, yeah. when you do have a degree in computer science, right? Yeah. A lot of math. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of math. <laughs> yeah. And a pretty reputable school, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you can add that together and see where that goes left, right? Here's the thing, man. <laughs> like, I just walk us through it. <laughs> I'm sure there. I'm sure there's no some thoughts. Just no, no, no. There's some. There's some context here that we don't get, there, and, and you're gonna. You're gonna explain it to us. I just think 
in the like I was just looking at the the screen mm-hmm. and I was like, Remy helps me through it all. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. That's so, so she'll help you with this too. And I didn't even think for one. I was like in my head, I was like, we already went ring shopping. Right. She's gonna know. Right. Like I bought it at some point. Right. right. It'd be like, weird if she did. Why would we go ring shopping if I don't buy a ring? So she's gonna know anyway. Might as well ask her. Might as well ask her. Well ask her. That's yeah. as you bad of an explanation wrong. as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. that's that's uh, that's piss poor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I just can you imagine like when they have kids, like like uh, you know, hypothetically if like Santa bought presents. Uh, <laughs> what kind of present would you want Santa to get what would you? you? And would Hypothetically. It be, and it would it be cool if it looked like this? Yeah, no talking to the kids without me present. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to unwrap the first of many gifts this season? Well, DraftKings Casino is bringing the holiday spirit right to your door with their amazing Holidays on the House promotion. With hundreds of games, loads of prizes, and exciting promos, DraftKings Casino has got everything you could wish for this festive season. We have a special gift for our tellies. When you play with just $5, you get $100 instantly in casino credits. It's like finding a bonus present under the tree. Girl math! (laughs) <laughs> Cozy up with all of the classics like slots, blackjack, and roulette. This is my personal favorite. Or try your luck with the exclusive games that you'll only find at DraftKings Casino. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and sign up with promo code WT9 and play $5 to get $100 in casino credits. That's promo code WT9 only at DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available. For problem gambling, call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly, 21 plus, physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. One per opted in new customer. $5 wager required. Max $100 in casino credit awarded, which require 1x playthrough with 7 days. Terms at casino.draftkins.com slash holidays on the house. Restrictions apply. As you all know, your girl has been in her reading era and absolutely loving it, which is why I am obsessed with our next sponsor, Book of the Month. It's a fantastic service that I have been using and it's been a game changer for my reading habits. Book of the Month is a subscription service that allows its members to choose from a list of curated books each month to add to their cart and can even add backlist books to their box at a discount. My most recent read is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow based off of a friend's recommendation. So I chose that one as my book for the month. I'm loving it so far and was so excited to see that they offered it. Book of the Month recently launched curated audiobooks alongside their hardcovers, which is very, very exciting. Now, as a member, you get a choice of either format each month. Whether you love the feel of a hardcover in your hands or prefer listening to stories on the go, Book of the Month has you covered. I love how Book of the Month curates which books they choose to offer. Each month, the editorial team reads through hundreds of new titles. Then they pick five to seven of the best new books for you to choose from. But all the books are good, so you truly cannot go wrong. The decision paralysis when choosing your next book is sometimes so real. Plus, they offer amazing prices on hardcover books, and the shipping is always free. They also offer a loyalty program with rewards and even lower prices the longer a member stays. The best part, if you head over to bookofthemonth.com, you can join Book of the Month and get your first book for just $5. Just use the code WILD. It's an unbeatable deal and I can't recommend it enough. Not only is it so fun to see what they'll choose each month, but it's also fun to use the app to track your reading progress and see which books you enjoyed the most. So whether you're a hardcore bookworm or looking to reignite your love for reading, Book of the Month is the perfect companion. Don't forget to use the code WILD for that special offer. Happy reading. Okay, so we've pulled some hot takes um, on some non-negotiables and rules of brides who are planning weddings. Fun. And uh, oh, oh, very look fun. At that. Look at this. Controversial we got wedding a rules. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my God, cute. Yo. Okay. The production. <gasps> close your eyes, close your eyes, close oh, your eyes. I already saw one that broke my heart. Close your eyes, go- it was a Bruno Mars. Yeah. <laughs> so we're answering as a couple or, or just like individually? Whatever you want. Okay. Uh, what's your bow? I guess, are you playing too or just us? No, we're playing. Everyone's okay, good, good. 
controversial wedding rules. Controversial wedding rules. Can I open my eyes? You may rules. open your eyes. I'm so sorry, I forgot they were closed. Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> I took a, quick, took a quick nap. I'm good. Okay, so there have been a few brides that have gone viral on the internet for um, publicizing their rules for their guests. And they've why gotten- Why would you ever do Wait, why would you, uh, wait, right. Are you yeah. trying, are you asking to be publicly shamed? That's and so insane. here we are online about to publicly shame them. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, they asked for it. The first one is a list of a bunch of them from the same wedding. Oh. This is the oh. same girl, the same girl. Oh my God. Okay, okay um, babe, you wanna read them through? So starting with all guests must wear black. Okay. okay. Two, females, only females, must wear their hair down. Okay. Three, no pearl jewelry. Okay. Number four, only yellow gold <laughs> jewelry. <Damn. laughs> Five, no red lipstick. <laughs> Six, women cannot wear heels if they are <gasps> taller than the bride. Oh my God. I, I don't know what the male equivalent to that is, but uh, it's not cute. Oh my God. Okay, the one that I will say that I think is um, okay is that if you are going for, I feel like there's been so many weddings, like influencer weddings too in the past, like year where they've done the whole all black thing. Yeah. And also I feel like that's not that crazy to ask people to wear black. It's like one no. thing if you're like, everyone has to wear mauve. But yeah. here's the, they, they started normal. They thought like the first one, if I read this, I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah. cool, yeah, 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 yeah. this yeah. is all standard yeah. fare. And then I get to like number three or four and be like, wait, hold on. You're like, oh my God. I also love that like there's so many like female directed. Like, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're so right. So like, Cal, leave your red lipstick at home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, like, that's that's pretty crazy. Females must wear their hair down. Also, what about if you're a silver wearer? You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. feel like girls are either like you're a silver girly. Yeah. I mean, I think this this is just odd. And Scream is like a little bit insecure. If that's mean to say, I'm sorry, but just like I don't. I would. I I, I agree with everyone. Talk shit. What I'm sorry. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. You're like, but like so chill these days. I'm, I don't know what's into me. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why, but <laughs> I do think it might be my new medication. Honestly, I just that just popped in my head too. Oh. I was like, oh, maybe it's the meds. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it just screams like a little bit insecure. I don't understand why you would do this, um, but that's all I have to say. I also feel like it. It. I understand not wanting to be like out dressed or out shined by anyone else on like your day. Like I feel like that's like a common thing that you sometimes hear of like, you know, you hear the uh, the mother of the groom, you've heard like nightmare stories of the mother of the groom shows up in like a wedding dress as well too. Yes. And the bride's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I, yeah. you, I genuinely think that weddings bring the worst out in women. It does. Well, I think so. Yeah. I think just in Not people. Not that dudes can't be general. nightmares, but like this shit, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, this is insane. crazy. Like, it, you, it wouldn't surprise me if this woman in her day in her, in her day, to day, not a, a complete yeah. just yeah. monster, but like this is, we're we're not we're not thinking about reality. Yeah, here. like no, when think of like crazy. no red lipstick, I'm like, oh, she doesn't want someone to stand out in a photo. Right. Oh. Like that's how I see it. So I'm I know pearl like, jewelry. But like maybe What's she like only the bride gets to wear <laughs> right. pearl Cal jewelry. Hung up on pearl. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm hung up on quite a bit. But like the specifics no, of like the pearls. Look at my pearls. Yeah. Yeah. Pearls. Oh, the pearls. <laughs> but like, do you think I'm looking at number six and I'm like, do you think that they kind of like cut their guest list if someone was like too tall? Mm. Maybe. Like if if yeah, there like, were women that were too tall, they were like, yeah, oh, they're not uh, coming. Right. Women cannot they wear heels if they're taller than the bride. And if you're taller than the bride, you're not invited. And yeah. if you're like above like five foot nine, you're not coming. Sorry, you're not invited. Also, Imagine. Why would, like, what a thing to care about. Right. I know. It'd just be crazy. It, this, this just, I can't wrap my head around. I truly can't. I mean, like, like dudes being like, no one with a bigger penis can be at my wedding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one. We are doing measurements. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> measurements upon entry. We'll be doing flaccid and erect. COVID test here. <laughs> penis measuring over here. Yep. And we'll wait until you can get it up there, Fred. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uncle Next. Jim. Okay. <laughs> Guests must submit their outfits at the time of RSVP. Oh. Well, you can just go ahead and count me out then. That's like nearly impossible. Like I'm revolve ordering something three days before I go to something. I agree with that. That being said, this person must have so much faith in their friends. Yeah, truly. Because <laughs> yeah. if, if I said that in an invite and said you couldn't come if you didn't do it, I would just assume we'd have no three people. people at the wedding. Yeah, That's yeah. super true. I wouldn't see be at the wedding. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think it's as bad as the first, but still bad. What do you mean submit, what, take pictures? I think yeah. selfies? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This I has think, to be some kind of a diss too. Like, 
all of my our, our guests have horrible fashion. We need to vet through <laughs> what they think they want to wear. <laughs> also, like, imagine getting a text being like, no, sorry, yeah. try again. Yeah. 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 What were the other yeah. options? Mm, no. yeah. Do you have that in black? That's Like, do they, do they revoke the RSVP? Like, what, what happens? Like, what's the whole point of like, having them submit? Maybe you only have, like, three times to submit, and then you're just, like, <laughs> right. it expires yeah, from there, maybe. Yeah. 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 These are all, like, very But they don't even give notes. They're just like, nope, try again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, have, I have guided a Denied. fellow <laughs> wedding guest into wearing something different um, on behalf of the bride. Oh, I remember that. But it was very gentle. No, well, yeah. I think that's... It I was, think that's the way to do it rather yeah. than getting a no text or yeah, something yeah, about yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. I, it was just a gentle, a gentle guiding in a different direction. Maybe you could, if anybody's listening, give some advice as to how do you gently guide? Yeah. Um, I'd be like one, did you read the fucking wedding <laughs> website? Because there are typically so, there's typically so many <laughs> guidelines and instructions and like suggested attire is something that I feel like most wedding websites these days now have. Yeah. yeah. And well, step I think it's one, polite to give people some guidance. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. yeah like, sure. I think as a guest, like guidance. I love getting guidance. 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 Not, not rules. Not, hey, you giant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take those fucking pearls off grandma Jean. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, the lipstick. We talked about it. It's gotta go. Get her a fucking wipe. Okay. No babies or kids. Well, sign me up. Sign me up. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, you have a baby in your family? Really? No. See, okay, well, that's, I'm, that's I'm between different. this two. I don't want kids or babies at our wedding, but I... Want, but I want a, like a baby flower exception. girl. I, I don't know though. Cause I like, I want a flower girl. I pr possibly a flower girl or like a ring bearer. But also, are you guys not going to do that? Just no, no zero kids. Zero kids. Yeah. Zero I think kids. I would lean uh, more towards Moose that. and Diggy. Babies. Obviously. Yes. Two babies. Yes. yes. Zero Two. kids. Two little boys. Yeah. <laughs> Two little boys. Um, <laughs> Two little boys. Yeah. I, 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 I under, I'm, I'm for this. I like it. <laughs> Yeah. I just think you're agreeable right now. I don't know what it is. Aren't I just so <laughs> lovely right now? Yeah, what the like, fuck? Like, the most lovely. Yo, let's see what we can get away with. Let's I know. just like start throwing some shit in there. I know. Mm. Okay, no hard alcohol or shots for the groomsmen. Only the groomsmen. Interesting. Only the groomsmen. I just think it's funny that they're singling the groomsmen out. I would <laughs> say this would be based in logic. Prior experience, Prior probably. Experience. Okay, but it didn't say no hard alcohol shots for the recovering alcoholics. When um, yeah, last time we had yeah. Zach on the podcast, Why he was talking about the in their in their wedding in Mexico, they were like, "Yeah, no shots, no shots, no shots," and they were like, "Okay, shot, shot, shot," and they're like, "No, no, no. so actually, no <laughs> shots," and they're like, "Yes, yes, shot, shot, shots," and sure enough, at the wedding, they're just walking around with trays <gasps> of tequila shots. Or people plastered. Oh my god, fucking waste. But I, I will say, like. It was only at an appropriate time of the night when there weren't like speeches were done, dinner was done, it was just dancing. Okay. Like it was at that point in the night when people were starting to get a little messy and you wouldn't even know they were super messy unless you were like interacting with them directly. I love it. Yeah, it was fine. It was totally fine. But listen, like I've got non-negotiable for our wedding, no one's allowed to throw up. Right. Oh. Okay, Remy. No, I'm fine. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Remy. I'll swallow that shit. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. That's when groom has to cry when bride is walking down the aisle. Absolutely. They must they must not have had a first look. <laughs> hmm. I really wish that I could like I don't know how to have the best of both worlds with this. I just don't know. I don't know. No, no, I trust is. I trust John. Yes. Jo jo yes. I trust John. I was Our like, who the fuck is John? I was like, who <laughs> like who is John kind of a photographer? photographer. That's the okay, okay. Yes, yes. He's I I will say, like, you can cry not from how beautiful she looks, even though you should. You could just cry from like how emo like, like emotional. emotional. Yeah. yeah, I think like you could definitely cry for that. I'll just and like, how beautiful I'll she put looks. Some, like you know, like tear stick. Just yeah, yeah, tear stick below. Have Cal come kick you in the shin really hard. That's what I was gonna say. Just have like a little bit of a honestly, just like, open violence. up a fresh vinegar and I'll just ball. <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that shit makes me just want to like chopping some onions. Die. Easy. Yeah, yeah there you go. Easy. Um, that's ridiculous, and I think that whoever is asking the groom to cry probably doesn't merit the tears. Ooh, hot take. Damn. Yeah, I think it should be natural. <laughs> Sorry, I got choked up. You know what, we'll wait. <laughs> no shoving the cake in the bride's face. I just recently saw an article yes. where a bride <gasps> said, don't do this to me. The groom did it and she divorced him the next day. I saw that too. No, yeah. Yeah, fuck no, that. This is, fuck a, that this is a good rule. This is a good rule. I totally okay, agree. Okay, the divorce thing, probably a little extreme. Now that that guy was also 
that was stupid. Mm. The divorce. Yeah. You know what? That that marriage was probably teetering yeah. on yeah. the rocks. To be, if that was the straw that broke the camel's yeah. back situation. Yeah. Um, I will say it wasn't like a shove too. It was like, didn't she like fall on the ground? Oh, I think he like, like it was like a forceful, like. Oh, I would have divorced him. Oh, right yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I would have, I did good. you sign that already? <laughs> Don't. I also feel We're like done. it's not good to have that be a rule. I feel like that should just be common sense. Like not yeah. try and humiliate the bride yeah. on yeah. the wedding. What's with like, like, let me just. Who started that shit? Like a dude. For yeah. sure, you're so right. Or or a girl thought she was being funny, put it in a dude's face, and then guys were like, oh, this is oh, the joke man. that we'll keep, That's... keep. But also like, it's yeah. one thing for a guy to just like wipe their face off because realistically you're not wearing like the layers and intricate makeup that like <laughs> a female who? is. Mm -hmm. Be full beat. Full beat. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna do you know makeup? What's you think so crazy? Glam. Yeah. <laughs> Waterproof mascara. Um, yes, sir. Someone like Jeremy, like a full beat would just be like two thirds of your <laughs> face. Oh, because my, bear, my beard? I never even thought about this. Mm. A little under eye brightener. I guess Manny does a full beat and he's got a beard. He does, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But I never thought I about this. I think mine's thicker. I wish, okay, would you let Manny glam you? Absolutely not. <gasps> One time I was able to do Cal's makeup. How'd that go? He looked like his sister. That's, oh. Like identical. Oh, did it she was hate that? really crazy. Did she hate that? She hated it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. loved did it. Did you do it for a video? Yeah. 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 I hope you're thrilled like, with the money you made from that. <laughs> I hope you're thrilled. Hope, He's yeah. so nice. I yeah. love you. I do. Cal's like, fuck. Okay, no jeans. And I think that is completely acceptable. Oh my God, yeah, 100% yeah. no jeans. Yeah. No jeans. No kick in the face, no jeans, Not and to be no children. No jeans. <gasps> Don't even get me started. Not to be confused. No, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. No, I Bruno agree. Mars. Cal no, and I both Bruno agree. Mars. I mean, that just comes to personal preference, you know? Like, you guys don't know Bruno Mars? Hates. I love Bruno yeah, Mars. I love Bruno Mars. He yeah. will be love there. love Bruno yeah. Mars. Yes. Bruno Mars came to my birthday uh, a couple years ago. I remember. And um, mm -hmm. the nice ever guy. since then, I just feel like. Buds. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, he'll get a wedding invite for sure. Well, I, I, I call them up for you, dude. Yeah. 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 Peter, <laughs> Peter, so nice Peter, I'm Peter Jean, so Hernan hook up. Peter Jean Hernandez is coming. You know what's his name? Peter Hernandez. Peter oh, yeah, that's right. Peter Hernandez. Peter Jean Hernandez. He's about five foot one. Where yeah. the fuck did Bruno mm -hmm. come from? I know that. And speaking of, uh, no men can have bigger wieners. He for sure. I mean, all yeah. deck. The way he walks is swagger. Yeah. Dude, the way he moves. He yeah. moves like a man who knows what he's doing. Yeah, and he does. Hot take, I don't like Bruno Mars. It's the most like, if it was sus If it was thing. my playlist, like if we've got like no, like like the no play, I got a, I got a couple controversial I'm names on there. Literally coming out sure. to Uptown. Right List now. them now. List them now. Yeah, give us three people who are not being played at the wedding. And while you if, do that, you I'm gonna get three control. tickets to the next Bruno Mars <laughs> yes. show. And no, I do please, respect your Vegas. opinion, but the Bruno Mars opinion is wrong. Yeah, I agree. I'm sorry. <laughs> Treasure. That'd be oh, so Treasure. good. Yeah. Classic. But also like some it's of a classic. Guys, yeah. bum, 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 bum. There's like that he has such breath. You are. Yeah. We don't have performers like that anymore. He's mm -hmm. a great performer. In the world of auto tune. But like, listen, I would never open Spotify and be like, I want to listen to fucking Bruno Mars. Cannot relate to that. Okay, three. Let's okay, three. three. Yes. Um, Bruno Mars, and then anything that falls into like the really the kind of like cheesy like chicken dance macarena cha cha slide. Like, I don't want what? any of that. Those are crap. Like the high school prom. Ho dance high school prom. The Cupid Shuffle. The only. Yeah. Way I love that song. I get that. Cupid Shuffle says. Cupid Shuffle says. Do the work, do the work. Do the work, do the work. It's so easy. They give you the instructions. Yeah. But like, if the DJ can just kind of make it a little bit more hype, like, it could be like your little stutter, your little slutty stutter stuff that you do. I don't know why you call it slutty. I listen to Stutter. <laughs> Stutter House is like a, a music genre. Because on genre. your, because when I joined your jam session on Spotify the other day, yeah. it said Slutty Stutter Playlist. Was that the name of the playlist? Slutty Stutter <laughs> Remix. <laughs> Wait, what is Stutter? Stutter House is like a type oh. of like EDM house music. Oh, oh okay. In another okay. life, she was like a Molly eating EDM girl. Yeah, I could have for sure been a Molly yeah. eating ABG. An ABG. In another I life. See it. Yeah, I see it. Absolutely. I, see it. I think it's like life. in my, it's it like, it, it lies underneath somewhere in the DNA. She's somewhere in there. Yeah, she's in there somewhere. I know. I think, no, I'm, I think, too we'll keep... I think I'm too old to awaken her. <laughs> I'm too tired. Hey, let's keep her asleep. <laughs> Never know. At the wedding, it could happen. Get this, could happen. Get, get this slide off. No more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one is no one wearing a dress can wear an Apple watch. Okay. Okay, so we had a TikTok that also talked about this one and it went a little bit viral and it was controversial and people were like upset that people, that, that a bride and groom would care enough to tell the, so my opinion is that I think that the, we're not even doing a bridal party, but I think that I personally would not want my bridal party to be wearing Apple watches. It does a little spy kidsy. 
<laughs> as someone who wears them. <laughs> that's like, that's what I, I think it's just, yeah. I think it's giving it spikes. But, but I will say there are so many different, like nice Apple Watch bands that I think if you have like a fun, cute band on, it could Only be Hermes okay. band for your Apple Watch. Mm-hmm. Um, cause Maybe. there's like cute gold Zilla. ones like that are, that are okay. I think in general, like you, your bridal party, yeah. you could, you should be able to be, you know, instructive enough to yeah. get them close enough. And that would be like a, a, maybe a, a last minute, like, Hey, would you mind taking it off for the mm-hmm. pictures? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all. I feel like this shouldn't have to be a rule. Yeah. It, like some you think of these rules are like. I feel like it's just one of those things. I feel like especially for like the wedding party yeah. people, like, what are you doing? But also, like, this could be on. like a, a, a bride. Like, but, but this could be like a, a bridesmaid to bridesmaid women. thing. This yeah. doesn't need to be like a, a sent for out women. Rule. Yeah. I honestly don't think I care. I think I, I more so care for their own photos. Like you want a photo of you at a wedding in an Apple watch? Like, <laughs> like who am I? I don't have good fashion sets. Who am I to tell someone what to wear? Do you want to see you know? what it looks like? Like the picture I just took and just, you can decide yeah, whether you, you want to wear so that. Like, I maybe just feel like it's common sense. Sense. Like I would not wear an Apple watch to a wedding because I don't think it would go well, but who am I to tell somebody else? What if they think that it, it looks nice with their outfit? Like there's a high chance that I wouldn't even wear my aura ring to a wedding if I was in the bridal party. Oh, Cause would, it's like, it feels thicker and chunky and it doesn't look like regular jewelry. Like yeah. even that, and but that's for myself too. Cause I'm like, I, I know if I were looking back at those photos, I'd be like, oh man, I got my chunky ass aura ring on. That's what I would think if I wore an Apple watch to a wedding. Yeah, but like, I wouldn't say that no one can wear an Apple watch to my wedding. It's also like dudes, you can hide it with a cuff. Yeah. Women kind of yeah. exposed. Yeah, it's out in the open. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, I see that. Uh, next one is the last one. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. No plus ones. Hmm. Hmm. Thoughts? Um, what are my thoughts? I guess it's just like it depends on how you do your invitations. Like, yeah. Like, say you're inviting your parents. Like, are you just inviting both of them separately? Like, I don't get it. Like, wait, I don't think you, babe. I don't think what? you understand what a plus one is. My what? love. Oh, like a, oh, like an extra person that you don't know. Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an oh, uninvited okay. person that wasn't intended to come. <laughs> like your parents get an invite. I don't know and they how both the inv- invites one. work. Okay. <laughs> Just like blankly, we're like, um. oh, that was sweet. <laughs> well, as Cal and I'll I see are- myself out. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. No, no. Remember when we were doing the list last night and like someone like like Ollie is Ollie gonna get a plus one or like yeah, like that? Uh, Let's decide yeah. that right now. Okay. Um, I I'm on the air of I thought about it. I people that I was really that were really close to, I immediately put plus one. Mm-hmm. But then as I was thinking about how many people we put on there, actually, I was like, you know what? Maybe. It also just depends. I mean, if we're not getting married for like another year and a half or two years, like people might have a relationship by them. They might not. Like, I don't mm-hmm. really know. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm on the air. I like the idea of no ring, no bring. I'm kind mm. of mm. in that realm right now. Wait, great rhyme. No, no ring, ring, no bring. bring. It's the first, th- like the first like strong opinion she's had on a wedding. No yeah. ring, no, no ring. bring. And Everything it's got, else. It's got a song. That's the only thing. It's up for negotiation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if you're not married already, get the fuck out of here. I really like, at least like a long-term relationship. Like you're about to be married and now you're like, if you're not already married. Yeah. No ring, no bring. Yeah. yeah, sorry. For us, it's also to anyone that's coming from out of town and has to travel in, they automatically get a plus one. Okay, because that's a good yeah. one. They will one, know, a, a, like they'll have like a safety person. Yeah, And also sure. someone to travel with. Mm-hmm. Um, safety person? That's how I think of it anyway. I was like, I have my safety person. <laughs> that's, that's basically what I am. I'm the safety person. You are, you you are, are you for sure a safety dog. person. Yeah, yeah. I'm the safety My emotional person. support, Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my TSJ and my ESJ. Babe, babe, have you seen my babe? Oh my God. Oh so God. people from out of town get a plus one. Um, but someone like Ollie, for example, for us to like keep our guest count low mm-hmm. is invited, but wouldn't get a plus one because they would be at a table where they're gonna know everyone. For sure. And so that's kind of how we're doing it. And then also too, if there is a couple that we don't know the significant other, it's kind of like on a per couple basis on whether they would get a plus one or not. Yeah. But also okay. because we're okay. under a hundred, it, like, it, it begs the question, if we don't invite the plus one, yeah, do we are we okay with not inviting the couple? Like, right? And, like, uh, and if the answer is like eh, on the fence, don't invite them. Okay, mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. that idea. Because, yeah. like, I think at the end of the day, we want to know. Here's how I think about it: is that if I walk into the bathroom and I see a random person that I don't know, and yeah. I'm like, who the fuck is this? How do you like, know, Jeremy? I'm paying <laughs> literally, and I'm like, who are you? Like, I just yeah. I never yeah. want to have that moment in like that day. Yeah, is being like. That. Who the yeah. fuck is this person? So there are definitely a few. I can just, I can just see it now. Lauren comes out of the bathroom. Who the fuck is that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I get that though. Yeah. That's like a weird. 
weird feeling for your wedding. I totally yeah. understand yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're having a really special day with all of your closest friends and family. I don't wanna be washing my hands in the bathroom. It's not about the bathroom. I'm just thinking of like, oh, like a moment where you're kind of pulled from the, um, like the chaos of it all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're like taking a breather and then you're like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, I, to- really I cute, totally get really that. Really cute Asian girl in the bathroom. Bathroom, Jeremy. Who's that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Who's that? She's really cute. Interesting. Yeah. She kind of looks like me a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, that's how we're going about a plus ones, but it's it's hard. Even like we sent our save the dates. Okay, so we've been we sending them already. <sighs> this is how little Jeremy knows what's going on. <laughs> Did you Wait, send them already? Was that genuine? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm an actor, I'm a thespian. As I was <laughs> as I was putting the save the dates into the envelopes, he's like, oh, I guess I should ask some people for some addresses. And I'm like. <laughs> I licked so many of those. You did like a single envelope. I did all of them. I wet a paper towel and figured out a hack. Oh, that's right, you I cannot did. believe you just tried to create an argument for yourself. I will not be gaslit into the envelopes that I wet by myself. Wow. Once again, you are right. Once again, I am wrong. Once again, I love you. Once again, I'm sorry. Once again, please forgive me. I'm making that my, my ringtone. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Wait, but circle back to the wet paper towel thing. That's genius. Oh yeah, I know. Cause I was like, am I about to lick a hundred envelopes? Like this is awful. It's my worst nightmare. And then so yeah, yeah, I Googled it. I was like, oh, just no. a there's little gotta bit be, damp. There's gotta be a hack for this. And there was. That yeah. is really smart. Yeah. Also wow. wax seals now. You can get stickers where you just peel the backing off and stick it on. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's like, yeah. I'll just text people. It's no. like, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna make a party I'm full. Make a party party. Yeah, <laughs> like I'll send them a number. And like, if they hit back, cool. It's all good. <laughs> Plus ones, I don't know, show up you want. Why? Uh, I don't know why I'm so chill right now. I really don't know. It just all seems very overwhelming. I know, I'm like, are you in a mind state where you're allowed to be making like your own like legal decisions right now? I don't know, I don't know. Does Remy need a conservator? I, um, I no, think she's fine. I, I think. It's Daisy. Should we get another dog? Yes. <laughs> Okay, you're okay. Yes. I, I think it was just like, you know, I was I was gone for a while for the wedding mm-hmm. and now I'm back and she's just like lost all she's consciousness. She's so happy. Well, no, <laughs> now, now, so now happy. the cow's back. Yeah. It feels like you're you're comfortable again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's all coming back to me. Slowly but now. surely. Now. Now. That's so <laughs> nice. I'm so mad that we didn't wear our fiance sweaters. They're also in a size where we could have both worn one. Remy gave me two. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's actually should, you should be wearing it because it's does it just has only the one e with the yes. accent on it. I know. I'm so I sorry. Know. I will. Not the double e. I can't wait to wear it. I can't wait to adorn it outside where people can look at me wearing a fiance sweater. I wonder. I wonder if he's engaged. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say, but yes, I am. I will say, Cal wants to get a ring of his own now because he. Well, you can explain. I don't want to explain for you. Where's my bling? Hello. <laughs> Okay. Where's oh, my yeah. little uh, something, something? Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. no, Caleb and Cameron, when they got engaged, they both got bougie ass diamond blinged out Cartier rings. And I, I just, was like, as you should. I okay, love it doesn't that. need to be that, but, <laughs> but I'm, can, I'm down. Let's just recap real quick. Yeah. Do you guys want to throw an engagement party? Remy? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Cal, I'd love to throw a party. Where's my boy? Why do people keep and saying then, that? So one. And then two. Uh, so like the wedding, whatever. And like, Remy's like, oh, whatever. Like it'll happen when it happens. And Cal's like, oh, look, like, I've got like a bunch of ideas. I'm super excited. <laughs> and then- Mission nice possible wedding. And then literally like, uh, <laughs> Cal's like, I, I think I should also get a ring so that everyone knows that I'm engaged too. And like, I, one side seems to be really more- I think he's gonna be a groomzilla. This. Yeah. Maybe I groomzilla. really think I maybe. I think you are so wrong. I can't wait to see so Cal with a clipboard. Just, <laughs> I, we talked about this. <laughs> Sarah. We said hi, Dranges. <laughs> It's so funny because this has happened a couple of times where Remy's like, I'm going to be so chill. And then, well, I'm not the week leading chill. up to the engagement. Not chill. Or, I know yeah. I'm not going to be. Not I think chill. we'll not actually chill. start planning that I'm going to be crazy. She's going to wake up and go, yeah. yeah. I know. It's just going to wake Why didn't I think about everything three times already? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true. The planning it's process true. is so long that I feel like you, and I'm sure getting closer, I'll be more stressed. And maybe because we also have a really great planner, but mm-hmm. like, the planning process is so fucking long that I feel like the stress gets nice and stretched out. That's mm. good. There's a lot of time to enjoy it. The stress. <laughs> a lot of time mm-hmm. to enjoy it. No, but I don't feel stressed. The only time I've ever been stressed is is when I'm I need something from you. Mm. Thank you, my love. <laughs> my everything. I'll work on that. My everything. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Well, we are so happy for you guys that you're engaged. Remy's ring is also getting resized right now. So she's got the blingiest replacement on right now. Thanks, Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Literally looking at that, I'm thinking to myself, can we go ahead and just pawn yours and get one of those? It's so nice, right? Yeah. Little hidden halo it, moment. It works. Yeah. No, it's like, 
That's a nice That's ring. Like, but also it's su it's such a good fake. I'm like, you better flip that inside out when you walk downtown. <gasps> I know it's honestly, it's fabulous. I don't even miss my old one. Well, Have you, you need to go up to your mom and be like, it. look, look, I got my ring resized and see and what she, she says. Okay. <laughs> I will do that. You should I'll definitely play like, you know, psychological warfare with your mom. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. That's great. <laughs> Suze. Or anybody, you know, I just, I just said, well, cause you're, you're meeting her soon. So <laughs> last night, Cal at dinner was like, you know, the ring looks really good. I like it. I was like, I know. And he's like, how much was it? And I was like, I think it was like $200, $300. And he was like, you know what? Actually, it actually looks really horrible compared yeah. to the real ring then. He goes, you yeah. know what? Actually, it looks like actually shit. looks like dog shit. Yeah. 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 Get that out of here. It's fine for now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so nice. I can't, I, now I'm like, I feel like I should get like my backup fake ring. Yeah. Well, if you want to uh, put that one into the, the, the safe, I can stop insuring it. <laughs> no, I love it. I love wearing Ring insurance it. is fucking expensive. Yeah. Is it constant? I thought it was a yes. one time thing. No, not one time. Oh. No. Wait, what? It's like two to three percent of the total price of the ring forever. <gasps> How frequently are you paying it? Like Month? annually? No, I think I pay like a no. six month premium. Whoa. Oh. Really? Yeah. Hypothetically speaking. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah. Hypothetically I'm speaking. working over thousands of dollars just so that if she does lose it. Wow. She can come but to me and say, babe, what's the deductible? <laughs> Could you pay for that? Thank but, you. But if you were to stop it, she would lose it. For sure. So 100%. Yeah, you can't stop it. I'm like, 100%. I like got off the plane in Mexico and I got an alert. They were like, your card expired for your ring insurance. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, um, me. <laughs> back on. Right back on. <laughs> so in hindsight, would you do anything differently? Um, I, I mean, I clearly, I wouldn't ask her about the insurance thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But like, yeah. Yeah, got Actually, it. Cal, I'm just so proud of you for knowing that a big purchase like that needs insurance. I feel like a lot of guys just go and they're like, woo, bada you, ring. You might have guys who have already asked the girl she's wearing it around town, doing her thing, going to the gym. You're like, like, like who did you insure it through? I remember. <laughs> You have to do that before you yeah. before you give oh, it to really? him. And I'm like, oh my God, you idiot. <gasps> no, no, we know someone who shipped the ring uninsured through freaking like USPS or something. Like one of the like- I don't know who that was. Yep. I remember hearing the story and I was like, no, oh, they, wow, Jeremy they did wouldn't, that. Um, they, White Flash insisted that I, they, like, they send it to a, an insured like FedEx oh, or UPS yeah. drop off and I had to go collect it. Yeah. They wouldn't even send it here. That's oh, right. It's not even right. an option. I like that though. Yeah. yeah That's for scary. Yes. When they, when so I. scary. They know their customer called? and their customers are dudes. Yeah. Yeah. You're so it's right. It's true. Well, when I called to get my ring resized, they're like, oh, we'll just um, send you a mailing slip and just put it in there and then ship it out. And I was like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Can I drop yeah. it off in the store? And they're like, yeah, you can, but you can just like ship it out too. And I was like, I'm okay, actually. That's cool. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I know. lost, do they cover it? Uh, he got insurance, so I guess so. Yeah, but like, yeah. <laughs> th there's a deductible. Yeah, I, I don't know. And then your insurance goes I up. I have to assume so. And then every time you buy insurance for the next five years, they go, have you made a claim in the last? Like, uh, yeah. Yes, I have. Don't I know mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. My house flooded, don't forget. Yeah. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, well, we need to end on a happier note than your house flooding. <laughs> Someone say something nice. Um, I can't wait for your wedding. It's in yeah. less than five months. Woo! I was thinking about it in the Let's show. <laughs> it's in it's, how long? Less Almost than five months? Less than five months, I know. Oh my God. When I think about Crazy. that, I, my, my stress levels do peak a wait, little bit. Wait, hold on. I have a little shortcut. Um, I have a little widget on my phone and you can click it and it'll tell you exactly how many days. How cute. Yeah, so like you just click it and it goes X amount of days. <gasps> have you gotten your suit? What tux? No. Tux for the wedding? No, not yet. I'll probably like do that. January, February, because it's like I'll get it like fitted like yeah. a month before. Cool. It's crazy because that sure. literally is the timeline for girls. It's like you have to start shopping like nine to twelve months in advance, and for guys, mm -hmm. they're like like two to four months in advance. Like, so crazy. Yeah. Italy so shuts true. down in August, so like if you were gonna get married in the oh, fall, that's right, that's right. You like because I remember I had to get mine like like six months in advance, but in the spring, yeah, easy. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So easy. It's almost our one year proposed anniversary. I know. Oh, I wild. Know. What are we gonna do that? for it? I don't know. Bunch of crazy sex. <laughs> yeah. Just like that night. Yeah. yeah we can. We can. End, we can. End, <laughs> Just we can end like that this. night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smelling dogs yeah. and postmates. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And you know what? We might even order dessert too. Ooh. 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 The dogs get two treats from the advent calendars. Oh <gasps> yeah. We have several. 
Advent calendars. Oh, yeah, I ended up with three, I heard three Advent calendars. about your Illinois. Oh, I Congratulations. cannot wait for the one to experience what I can only imagine are the 25 days of corn. We looked it up. It was of good. Corn? You, uh, Jeremy's what? mom sent us an Advent calendar of thir- 25 days of Illinois treats. On the first Get day of out. Illinois Christmas, my true love gave to me John Deere and some milk and some. And some, what's the, what's the, corn? Okay, like the, the, the popcorn, the Chicago mix. Oh, uh, that'll be one of the um, days, right? Oh, oh my God. Uh, uh, Gear, 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 gear. Garrett's. Garrett's. Ooh. Is one of them going to be like a little like deep dish block pizza? of pizza? That like mysterious catalog. I feel like it's an it's like one of those non-perishable, so I think it's all like process. I was I was making a joke. That'd be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, imagine this like a whole deep dish pizza that until the end because that's going to get people to click, click subscribe. Okay. Uh, so make sure you go and check out <laughs> Pretty, Pretty Basic where you can hear more jokes like yes. that. <laughs> is there anything else you want to plug, Rem? Cal? Um, cooking me, with Remy. Yes, Cooking with Remy. Miss Remy Ashton on Instagram and TikTok. And Cal Parsons 3? What are you on Instagram? You don't go on Instagram. I don't really go on Instagram. We don't I'm do social media. Cal's wherever. got nothing. Cal's got everything. Cal's, Cal's a man everything, but no of social the media. Women. Yes, Cal loves women. Cal will be yeah. supporting you. Cal! <laughs> Latvia, it was good hanging out with you, as always. Uh, we'll see you next week. That's it. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,